I'm not mad about being in the kitchen right now on midday. Roger is here, co-founder of R&R Barbecue. Rod, if you're watching, hi, we miss you. Hey, Rod. Your brother's usually with us in the kitchen. Yeah. How are you? Welcome back. Oh, thanks so much for having me. I love your haircut. Thank you so much. I'm a little <laughs> bit shorter and a little bit more bangier. Hey, I know how you feel. <laughs> you know how that works. So it's game night, people doing things like this uh, tonight, but also into the Labor Day weekend. How do you put together the perfect barbecue? Roger, you know. Well, what you do is you get a good combination of things. We've got pulled pork. Oops, we got pulled pork over here. Right here. We got our brisket, uh, fifth place of the Jack Daniels World Championship pork, numerous first places. But, but all this stuff is really easy to do. We do classes every once in a while, so you can always come to one of our classes. But the main thing is, I'll give you a little tip about the brisket, is you don't want to ever do anything by temperature on brisket. It's totally 100% feel. So you could kind of, when you do your briskets at home, everyone has a smoker now. So when your brisket gets about 190, then you start checking it with the thermometer, but you don't read the thermometer. You use it for tenderness and you just stick that thing in there until it comes out just like butter. Really? Like it's all like, almost like melty? Just about, yeah. You don't want to go too are far, but it just it? comes in. What feel are you? Some people you feel it and some, but when you have the thermometer, you just push it in and it comes right out with no mm. resistance. And that's how you make the perfect Not brisket. Not looking at the heat, you're feeling the right, resistance. exactly. Um, what about this guy? Pork butt is the easiest thing in the world to do. The same thing, when you get up to a certain point, about 190, 195, generally they'll almost all be done. But my mouth's watering looking it at is. it. It is, my mouth's totally <laughs> so, watering in the kitchen. But it's the same thing, it's all by feel. That should go in and out. And another thing you can do is when you pull on the bone, it should come right out and come out real clean. That's how you know it's what done. What is it about r, &R Barbecue that people go bananas for? God, I just think they understand the passion that we have for the barbecue. My brother and I, we did contests for years. We opened up our first store in Salt Lake. And I always get like teary eyed. I do. Because it's, it's your like place. We care. Look yeah. what you yeah. built it into. Yeah. Brand new location in Midvale. That's number eight. Yeah, that should be uh, probably November, December, maybe Congrats. January. I hope, I hope it's sooner, but okay, yeah, it's great. Promise to share with the viewers before you go your recipe for your famous right. slaw. This is very, very simple. I already have it in a bowl here. Is a cup of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm half a cup of white vinegar, um, half a cup of uh, sugar, one teaspoon of celery seed, one, a big pinch of salt and a big pinch of pepper. Mix There's that all in really there. really not a lot of ingredients Oh, it's so simple. In there. And you could, you know, tweak it however you want. And it just comes out really simple. And I mean, it's the fastest thing you make. You could add more pepper, you could add more salt. This is what it looks like That's when it's finished. That's what it looks like when it's finished. Do you add that to the sandwich? Yeah, if I don't drool on my own food, I'm well, sorry, but I keep getting... it's just that delicious. So this is what you, you, you load that on there. It's like redneck lettuce. Oh, and you can put I'm... bell peppers there. Everybody does something, but to top it off with, we'll even use our, our less sweet more heat. It's got a nice kick into it. I love how you just drizzled that right like, I want to get like slow motion. Oh, uh -huh. you do you have it on there. <laughs> No, people are want to crawl through their television sets right now. That looks so good. Um, Roger from r, &R Barbecue, thank you for stopping by. Oh, thank Labor you guys Day for weekend. having me. Great tips. Also, game night. Go to their website to find a location near you at the Vivint as well. And, of course, their first location in Salt Lake City, abc4.com slash midday, and we will link you. Bri, I'm here. You're there. <laughs> I think I'm in the good spot. And I can